Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for all the love that you've given us. Your support helps us make mental health and psychology more accessible to everyone. Now, let's begin. As the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle once said, even a god finds it hard to love and be wise at the same time. And he certainly wasn't wrong. Though we'd all like to believe that we're too smart to let our hearts rule our heads, too often we let our emotions cloud our better judgment especially when it comes to dating. But learning how to recognize the early signs that a relationship won't work out or that someone is incompatible with you can save us a lot of pain and regret down the road. So rather than simply forgiving and forgetting like we often do, here are seven red flags in dating you need to start looking out for. Number one, they always agree with you. Does your new bae like all the same things you like or share all the same views and opinions as you? While it's certainly nice that you get along so well, you need to be wary of people who seem to agree with you on just about everything. They may not be telling you the truth or showing you their real selves. It's likely that they're just telling you all the things to make you like them more. Because the truth is, no two people will ever see eye to eye on everything. Because no two people are exactly the same, and that's okay. Differences are what makes us who we are. And if the person you're dating feels the need to change who they are just to please you, then it's never gonna work out. Two, they hide things from you. Does your partner hide things from you and struggle to communicate properly with you? It's a definite red flag if you can't be open with each other about how you feel or what you think. Do you notice your partner avoids talking about their feelings or doesn't share much about themselves? Do they keep you away from their friends or family or always leave you guessing about what they've been doing? While everyone certainly has a right to their privacy, you can't emotionally connect with someone who's afraid to be vulnerable with you. Three, they don't prioritize you. Does the person you're dating seem too busy for you sometimes? Do they spend most of their time with work, academics, or their other relationships? Do they often cancel on you at the last minute or take forever to return your calls and messages? While you certainly can't demand anyone's time, Dating someone who can't fit you into their busy schedule isn't going to be easy. And the fact that they're already struggling to juggle so many other priorities in their life is a clear sign that they're not ready for a serious relationship. Four, they're dismissive of you. Another warning sign you need to look out for is how the person you're dating talks to you. Are they encouraging and supportive or condescending and dismissive? Do they always have to have their way and assert that they're right? Or are they open to listening to your ideas? Having a partner who talks down to you and doesn't take you serious isn't something you want for yourself. And even though they might try to pass it off as knowing better and encouraging you to just trust them and go along with it, you deserve to be with someone who respects your opinion and gives you a say in the relationship. Five, they easily get jealous. While it's never something we want ourselves or our romantic partners to feel, Sooner or later, jealousy is bound to find its way into our relationships. It's not a deal breaker in and of itself if your partner feels jealous or insecure sometimes, but what really matters is how they deal with it. And if you're dating someone who seems to get jealous all too easily, you might wanna watch out because there's a good chance that it'll soon make them paranoid and controlling. Six, they make you second guess their feelings. Most of us know when you've just started dating somebody, you need to be careful in how you navigate the waters. You don't wanna come on too strong or seem too needy because you always wanna leave them wanting more. But at a certain point in your relationship, they need to start making an effort to show you how they feel. Because if they don't, they're not ready for a serious commitment or they're just not as invested in the relationship as you are. Whatever the reason may be, dating someone who plays with your feelings is never a good idea. Seven. They talk badly about their exes. Do they constantly bring up their ex during conversations and compare you to their last relationship or tell you all too private details about their last relationship? You need to remember that if you and this person ever did become serious and eventually break up, there's a good chance they'll treat you the same way. And the fact that they feel the need to bash their exes and make them all out to be the bad guy just goes to show that they're still hurting over their most recent breakup and could be looking to you for a rebound. Do you relate to any of the signs we've mentioned on this list? Have you ever dated someone who showed some of these very same red flags? Let us know in the comments below. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos. And as always, thanks so much for watching. 
We'll see you next time.